This witness vividly remembered the day R. Kelly introduced her to Aaliyah. It was Aaliyah's 12th birthday, and R. Kelly was convinced that Aaliyah would be a star. The witness learned more about R. Kelly and Aaliyah's relationship after walking in on them in the back of a tour bus. 20 years after the death of R&B singer Aaliyah, and new details are emerging about her life inside a Brooklyn courtroom during the sex crimes trial of R. Kelly. A former backup dancer testified she was on tour with R. Kelly in the early 90s, and Aaliyah traveled with them. The dancer said on the back of a tour bus she saw, quote, Robert and Aaliyah in a sexual situation, saying Kelly appeared to be performing oral sex on Aaliyah. At the time, Aaliyah would have been around 13 years old. The jury already heard testimony about R. Kelly's secret and illegal marriage to Aaliyah in 1994. While the marriage certificate says Aaliyah was 18 years old, Aaliyah was really 15. The backup dancer who testified using the name Angela said she also had a sexual relationship with Kelly starting when she was 14 or 15 years old. A former personal assistant to R. Kelly also provided testimony today. Diana Copeland said she became an extension of R. Kelly, working for the singer on and off for 15 years. While Copeland initially said R. Kelly's girlfriends were not allowed to roam around his home, on cross-examination, Copeland clarified no one was allowed to roam around the house. Copeland also told the jury R. Kelly provided his multiple living girlfriends with lavish shopping sprees, cosmetic surgeries, extravagant parties, and exotic pets. And Tamsin and Corey, there are several R. Kelly supporters here outside of the courthouse. They've been chanting free R. Kelly. Back to Diana Copeland. She said throughout the years she worked for R. Kelly, she never saw him physically stop any girlfriends from leaving. In fact, she said there were several girlfriends who left and came back multiple times over the years. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Brooklyn, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.